Okay, that was a lot of work, more than I thought. Today I got the bolts, um, this part of the gantry, the x-axis, is held to the linear rail carriages, which you can see right there, by um, four M3 by five bolts that, according to the Chaotic Lab kit, were supposed to be with the kit, but they were not. So I ordered some online because I can't find M3 by five locally. So I got the gantry on and I've got the Z belts in. So almost to the point where I was about a month ago, I think it might be now. Um, because I haven't done the AB belts that go from the idlers down through here and around the back and up and to where the tool head mounts, one going one side and the other one going the other side. So I'm taking a break before I do that. Um, it's really super smooth down on this end. This end is a little bit sticky and I'm pretty sure it's because if I move that up a bit, now it's perfectly smooth all the way across. So I'm pretty sure that the problem is that um, the Z height isn't exactly the same in all four corners, uh, especially this one. So how that can happen is uh, if you see here the linear rail, you're supposed to put a piece of plastic underneath it and have the rail touching it, obviously when this is laid down, and then you start bolting this rail in place so it's got a gap of that piece of plastic and you use the same piece of plastic in all four corners. I think either when tightening it or putting the plastic in, I think that this corner uh, might have got off a bit. So it should be absolutely fine when this thing is running and it does its gantry level. That's, that's my hope. That's my hope. And it's so perfect back here. And it's just a little bit tight up here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Is I believe that's racking the, the uh, gantry. So I believe that it runs a test with your when you have your tool head and your whatever probe you're using to sense the bed. It'll take this to all four corners and adjust each of the Z motors individually so it knows that they're all four at the exact same height. And I think that's my problem, is this one is not at the exact right height. At least this one. I mean, maybe the others are off by a little bit too, but this one I know uh, seems to be off. So when I lift it, it seems to pretty much fix any non-smoothness here. Whereas the back, up to three quarters, is perfectly smooth. Which it was doing the same thing with the stock LDO um, gantry using the same blue aluminum extrusions. So that's why I'm pretty sure that's where I've narrowed the problem down to. And it's not a problem, it's just, you know, you're manually lining this up with a piece of plastic as a spacer, and then you're tightening, tightening all the bolts down for the linear rails, and there's a chance it's not gonna be perfect. So I am satisfied that that's what the problem is, and it'll be corrected once the gantry does its level. Um, also, in my last video, I mentioned this was not smooth at all. It was binding up and I took it apart and I believe that the fix was the small plastic tube inside of this that the bearings travel in a kind of an oval path through the carriage and then out the back and there was a little bit of misalignment of the plastic tube due to the plastic being a little bit too thick in one spot. So that's that's now smooth back and forth. Um, it doesn't it doesn't like go as quick as I would like. Like like these. I mean one finger and that sucker flies. This has got a little more tension. Um, but it is smooth so I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. I just thought that I you know it would be as smooth as 
the side ones, but I don't know. Maybe somebody you want to comment if that seems normal because it's an MGN 12 maybe. Um, I removed all the super lube I had in it and I'm using the Mobilux lubrication now. So I'm hoping that's fine. Like I said, there's no binding or anything. It just doesn't move super smooth. If I put more weight on it, it seems to go a little bit better. I thought I read somewhere that carriages are designed to have some weight on them, so maybe that's it, even though this is a uh, perpendicular weight to the rail as opposed to these, which the weight is pulling the carriage down. I don't know. Anyway, that's where we're at, and then just wanted to say one more word about um, partially why I ordered the kit. Um, the binding, the small binding up here was part of the reason, and then I just saw it online and I thought it was, it just looked awesome, I admit it. Combined with the fact that I've always loved carbon fiber, but never really had any because I don't like the idea of using it just for decoration. I like it to be functional. So I know there's stuff for your car. You can get like a dashboard cover that has double-sided tape. So it's carbon fiber, thin layer with double-sided tape and you stick it onto your dash and your dash looks like a carbon fiber, but of course it's not and it's just appearance related and I never, never got into that. But apart from this, the only carbon fiber I had, I had to dig it out, I still have it. Um, If anybody knows anything about mainframes, uh, they have a thing called tape silos, and it's a large silo shaped floor to ceiling device with tapes and tape drives inside and a robot that has a couple arms that can go, and it knows where all the tapes are, what column and row, and when the mainframe asks for a tape with certain data on it, the robot grabs the tape, throws it in a drive, and then when it's done, kicks it out, files it back so that you don't have to have people mounting tapes like in the old days where we had the round reel tapes that you manually load onto a tape device. So this was um, a carbon fiber keychain that was used where I used to work before they got rid of the silo and went to virtual tape. And I asked them if I could have it because... Like I said, I've always loved carbon fiber, but I never found anything that I really wanted to buy that was carbon fiber that wasn't just decorative. And so even though this is decorative, I just asked if I could have it when they removed the silo, and, and the technician let me have it. So <laughs> I've now gone from loving carbon fiber, but only having this piece that really doesn't has been just in a cupboard with a bunch of keychains forever uh, to now having functional carbon fiber on my printer. Now how much it'll actually help the printer I don't really know. Um, I'm assuming this would actually hopefully get me some more speed if I decide to you know push this I'm not gonna you know push it to ridiculous speeds as fast as it'll go but hopefully this will help with a little bit of speed because it's lightening the whole gantry area so ah uh, that's it a lot of work today getting this up i had a couple things on wrong that i didn't realize till i got it uh, mounted but it seems pretty good now and next i'll be doing the ab belts